Day three was a sudden change in a lot of ways. We had uh, about 20 of our guys uh, had finals this morning, so we had to excuse a number of our players early. And what we did was we went with a with a sudden change based on the fact they had eight o'clock uh, final this morning. We wanted to get them out of here with plenty of time. We uh, we moved our team period up to an early part of practice where the the guys were over an individual, and I yelled out sudden change and. We went right into a team period. And what sudden change means is that we'll have situations uh, in a game that will come up where there, where there might be a turnover. Something will, will change rapidly. And uh, for example, if our defense gets a turnover, the offense might be over on the sideline going through adjustments with the coaches. And then everybody's got to drop what they're doing, get out on the field. And now the offense has got to go right into to scoring mode. So those are situations that come up in a game call it sudden change where there might be a turnover in any of the three phases, special teams, defense, or offense, uh, and they have to react. You know, and our defense, for example, has got to go out there, maybe if the offense or special teams turn the ball over, and uh, they got to become the fire department. they got to go out and put out the fire and try to get the momentum back for us. So we handled that well. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed in the, in the lack of focus today, even though we're installing a lot in offense, defense, and special teams. The kids lost some focus throughout the practice, so I challenged them to fix that and, and get it back tomorrow. And those are things that happen throughout camp. Uh, as long as camp is, uh, there's times when, when the players will lose a little bit of focus or, or their energy, and you know, we need to get that back. So we'll work on that for tomorrow. Yeah, th with our offensive line right now, we're trying to find the combination of the, the right five and then what positions they'll work in. It'll take us a little while before we identify who's, who's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. But um, as of right now, we've got a couple guys working in some different positions. We moved David Bourne out to left tackle uh, and Jack Lowney to left guard. So we've, we've in essence switched those two guys. Uh, Josh Mann's taken over at center for Jeremy Hensley, which would be really big shoes to fill uh, for Josh. Uh, right tackle is Robbie Duncan, who's really done a good job there. He's solidified that position. And then right guard right now, we're, we're working three different guys in there between uh, uh, DJ Morrell, Brandon Carr, and Connor Mooborn. Those three guys are, are battling it out right now. There's no clear cut uh, guy for that right guard position. So we'll, we'll need to keep working to identify uh, who that's going to be. But we feel pretty good about the other four positions right now. Yeah, there's really the four guys right now in our defensive line that, uh, that look pretty solid for us to be starters are, are Chris Burnett, uh, who's a preseason All-American. Eric Saylor uh, has really uh, done a nice job through the summer and spring ball. Uh, Alex Aran, we bumped up from a linebacker to a, a hybrid defensive end position, meaning he'll play defensive end. He'll drop some at linebacker because he can do both. Uh, and then Prince, Preston Smith has done a really nice job uh, at the end position. He had a great summer through conditioning and through the first three practices. Uh, you can see the progress in what he's done.